Hi, my name is Janoy and my dad my dad died because he got shot. My name is Gavin and my uh, brother died because he choked on an apple at the zoo. My name is Philip and my mom died from breast cancer. My name is Peter and I lost my mom from cancer. I'm Ella and this is my sister Madison who died of get blood getting in her lungs. Hi, I'm Keegan and I lost my dad to melanoma. I want Keegan and Camille. I want them to go to Camp Heron because I believe it can be helpful for them. Are you ready for fun? Oh, yes. Yeah. All right. To be around other children that have been in a similar situation. Being able to see their grief from different points of view. Dan had a, a metastatic melanoma. It was in his brain, in his lungs. It was everywhere, really. Camille and Keegan, um, they're two young people with great strength. My work with them has been helping them prepare for dad's death and helping dad prepare to say goodbye to his kids. My dad was uh, very funny. He was outgoing and very smart, too. Right at the beginning, when my dad found out he was sick, uh, he was pretty in denial about the fact that he was dying. The counseling gave me a chance to really talk to my father deeply about his death and about what would life would be like afterwards, and it really gave me a chance to say goodbye to him, uh, to his face, rather than just afterwards. He wrote a letter for us, and it was just saying what he thought that we'd be good at when we were older and how, like, how much he loved us. It's good because they actually have something to hold on to. Nobody wants to he head for a weekend where you're going to talk about sad things. Right? So I just asked them to trust me and uh, that it would be good for them. And if, it, if they didn't enjoy it, it was just a weekend. It felt like it would bring, a lot, bring up a lot of harsh memories about my dad. Or, and I felt it would be very difficult to, to have to talk about them. I, I like that I get to... I'm not the only one that something has happened to me and that everybody has had someone in their, or someone close to them die recently. And I like that, but I'm just not sure I feel about the camp. I'm Ella and I like elephants. I'm Sage and I love cats. I'm Apple and I love everything, especially raccoons. I'm Camille and I like sloths. It's full on from the minute that the kids get dropped off. It's high energy moments of kids running and screaming and laughing and playing. The bonding does happen quickly. Part of that is because we challenge them to, we put them in situations where they're asked to share. We start out with an activity called Where the Wind Blows. The North Wind Blows to anyone who loves chocolate. Start out with like silly stuff like if you like ice cream and you run across the circle so people self-identify and then we get into the harder stuff. The North Wind Blows if your mom or your stepmom died. The North Wind Blows if your special person died of an illness like cancer. Or and you just see them like so focused on watching who moves when their thing is said and know that the thoughts they've had that probably that other person has had them and the fears. He was a really good cook and I regret not cooking with him and learning his secret recipes. We know that it's going to have them walk away with a sense of accomplishment and just remind them that things can be really hard but you can still get through them. Yeah. <laughs> if somebody's died and we're grieving, it's so common to have nightmares. So a dream catcher is, is made especially for dreams but it works, the concept works also for other kinds of worries and thoughts. So we're going to take the mask of grief off. And that means that now we can just express all our feelings and be free with it. How does it feel? 
And then maybe you could use one of the knives to kind of spread it around to seal the layer. So the black here, I thought, kind of represented the actual death of my of my dad. And then here, it was kind of a period after where I didn't really know what to feel. And it was almost peaceful because it was the end of the cancer and all that. And then here, there are different emotions like anger and calmness and loneliness, and how they kind of bled into each other. And then finally at the top, I'm where I am now, which is kind of surrounded by people who understand that. It's been amazing. We're just so happy with how things are going. The kids are talking to each other, the groups are bonding. We're seeing kids participating in new things. I think for Camille and Keegan, the, the things that they were worried about have kind of erased. I think they're getting the things that I haven't been able to give them from the other kids. Many other kids here can very specifically say, yeah, my dad died too, and this is what it was like for me. Okay, no launching. One, two, three! It's kind of let me know that I'm not the only one and that all the feelings I'm having are, are perfectly natural and it's kind of turned this awful event into something more tangible I guess and something I can I can deal with. I really liked it personally. I liked how easy it was to share or not necessarily easy but fluid. This part of the night is about light. Um, and this is a ceremony that we do every year called the Illumination Ceremony. We're going to give you a balloon with a glow stick inside it. And you're going to have the chance to decorate that balloon with messages of hope or wish or a message that, that you wish you maybe had the chance to say to the person or the people in your life that died. It's so common to hear back that I grieved this way until I went to Camp Aaron and then I was able to talk more freely or reach out to more people or express more after camp because I experienced it and I learned that it was okay and that I could do it.